Well, I thought I'd update you on what I've been working on recently on my train layout. I've been working on the area of my branch line, uh, which is on a upper level, a higher level, and toward the back of the uh, layout near the, uh, the backdrop. Um, I wanted to first, before I did, before I laid the roadbed in the track, I wanted to do the scenery, or at least get it sketched out so that I could uh, make sure I had enough room and everything to run the uh, roadbed. So I've been working on sculpting the foam in this area, this uh, mountain. Uh, it's only about an uh, inch and a half to two inches deep, but I'm trying to get it to give more of a feeling of depth by sculpting it and painting it and putting a backdrop in behind it. I found an interesting uh, product that I'm using for uh, the mountains in the distance, and it is this um, this material. It's uh, three eighths of an inch thick uh, uh, plastic foam from uh, Dow Corning, and uh, as I understand, it, it's called underlayment, which I assume means that when you're going to lay a floor in a new construction, you would put this underneath the final wood and everything. So anyway, it's very thin and uh, interestingly I found this stuff outside of a recycle bin. Some guy had brought it down to the bin and just dumped it there. Uh, it's not really recyclable, it's really pretty much trash. He had a whole bunch of it which I picked up, put in my car and brought home thinking, well, maybe I can find a use for this. So what I'm doing is using it to make my background mountains. And what I've done using this is to sculpt a piece like this into an appropriate shape for a mountain and then paint it and the idea is that it fits in behind the mountains that I've got here in front and slips behind in a little slot that I've created there. I'm going to uh, take a break now and put these in in the proper place to give you an idea of what this looks like. Well I'm back from break and I put the the thin pieces of styrofoam that I've painted uh, behind the three-dimensional mountains. This, this is the piece of styrofoam, the thin styrofoam. Uh, as you can see it, uh, it, it kind of helps give you the impression of uh, a little bit of depth uh, the slight shadow makes it look deeper than it really is. Uh, here I have painted a distant mountain without much, without much uh, definition and tried to simulate trees in the uh, near background. Uh, on the foreground I'll actually have three-dimensional foliage. And you can see over here on this part where I've just painted the base coat and have yet to do the final um, painting of the tree so you can get an idea of what it looks like before it's uh, all finished. But anyway, that's what I've been working on. I'm just about, I'm very close to being finished with this part of the project and ready to go back to laying track bed and finishing the track for my branch line. That's it for now.